clear the deck and the field. Since when I attack, Pike will evolve, kill Brom, then attack the weakest enemy. Evolve, now he has 6 damage. Hey guys, welcome back to round 2. I want to play it until I reach at least Yumi and Pike together. That is the whole point of this deck. If not, I will try to get Kale to evolve. But I only have one copy of her, so it will not be as fun. I am playing against the same guy a lot these days. Okay, I'm not going to get the lurker. Okay, I am going to put Esmus, Breath of the World down, and attack. Okay, nice. Okay, you may become more powerful now, which is good for me. Okay, I am going to put Yumi on Esmos, Press of a uh, Breath of the World. Since it is elusive, at, at least I can attack each round for free. Okay. If just I had waited. Okay, let's summon Pike. That's attack. And I am going to give him Mika and Blessing. That doesn't count for damage, apparently. This one will deal 4 damage. Okay, so Ismus will die. damage 8 nice if he does not kill me I win the game using blood in the water
I think you can do about it. But there are some spells that can counter this, but not in his deck. Okay, let's go to round three. Hey guys, welcome back to round three. I am quite insisting on getting a nice play. This look like look a lot more promising. We already got Yumi and Pike on the same round. Okay. Okay, I am going to summon Cosmic Youngling. And I am going to attack. I am not afraid of taking damage since I am going to heal eventually. Since Cosmic Youngling allows us to heal himself and the Nexus 1. Okay. Summon Starkling and pass. He should have attacked. Not sure why not, but he did not. Let's go to round 4. This is my last attempt because I got tired from doing this deck. Hopefully, we can get a good game. Restart, 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 restart. Everything. And we only got Pike. Okay. Okay, he got a free attack. A Brom Vladimir deck. Could work. If he is if he can get Brom early, he can win. If not, he is. As simple as that. So first I am going to use Blood bait, summon a blue sentinel, then attack. A smarter move was would have been to use blue sentinel first, but he only have two mana, not a lot of things can be played with that. Not as much as well. Huh? Okay, we got Pike. Instead of summoning Pike, I am going to use Snapshot. Snapshot Swarm. If he attack, I am going to use Pale Cascade. To make sure I can kill his Crimson Bloodletter. I need the dead as soon as possible. And this way I can save my snap jaw swap. Next round I will have Pike to attack with. Okay, let's start stacking up. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Brom will evolve before my pike. If he attack and use Pike to attack Brom, mm 
Uh, not the smart, the smooth, to be honest. No, I will let him attack first. going to use blood in the water in order to kill bro and then I am going to attack I cannot attack since Vladimir has six health. I should have attacked. Okay, let's use Snapshot Swarm first. I used it first so that I can see if the next unit is uh, is a lurker. Plus four that is twelve plus one that is thirteen. Take your time. I know where the harpoon is going. Mm -hmm. I am going to use Esmos, which is not a smart idea. Then I am going to use Spike and try to attack Brom. If I do this, he will not evolve. Let's attack. The fact that he did not defend mean if I do this now, I will. Well, not win, but you know what I mean. I can clear the deck, the field, since when I attack, Pike will evolve, kill Brom, then attack the weakest enemy. Evolved now, he has six damage, and we are free to attack. <laughs> okay, nice comeback, but that's it for me today. Hope you like the video. If you do, please share, subscribe, hit notification button, and put in the comment what other champions or deck you like to see next. Bye.